Hello, this is Suzanne with another quick tutorial and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can use the Zoom app on your smartphone. So I am here at the Zoom app. I navigated here from my Android screen. The procedure should be very similar to the iPhone or on the iPhone if not identical. So right here we have the options of starting a meeting, joining a meeting, scheduling a meeting, or seeing the upcoming. So let's go ahead and look at starting a meeting. I can choose to start the meeting with the video on or off. Right now the default is off. I can also use my personal meeting ID, which Zoom gives to you. And when I click on start a meeting, it's going to connect. And you'll see that the first option that has popped up is the audio option. So I have the option of using a dialing a dial-in number or using the device audio. So if I were to click on dial in, it's going to give me two numbers that I can choose from that I can uh, dial in and use that audio and if I use my phone then it will automatically dial in the meeting ID and the participant ID but if I were to use another phone then I could use this information right here and I would just plug that in so let's go back and let's look at what it looks like if you use the device audio. So you get that message that you're using the device audio. I'm going to unmute myself. So I'm now unmuted and you can see up here that the audio is on. Okay. And if I wanted to share my screen or share anything else, then I would hit share and select from uh, one of those. Uh, if I wanted to check who the participants are, then I could click on participants. Right now, obviously, it's just me. Um, I could also view the chats or send a chat. Um, and I could also mute or unmute all or invite someone to my Zoom call. All right, and then here there are some additional options that have to do with whether you want to let uh, people, new people come in after you've started your Zoom call and whether you want to allow anyone else to share their screen. And the mute upon entry has to do with, you know, if someone comes in, especially if they come in late, if you have that checked, then uh, they will be quiet. They'll automatically be muted. Um, play enter and exit chime is currently off. If you wanted to know when somebody came in um, or left, you could turn that on. And then if you want to end the meeting, then you would just click on end. And I'm going to end the video right here and I will be back with some other features.